I anticipate that very soon companies will start focus on issuance and trading of colored coins among professional investors. Anton, can you start off by talking to us about the blockchain of Bitcoin and how it will be integrated in the financial systems? Sure. So the blockchain of Bitcoin is a, globally not a global notary service that uh, uh, keeps uh, records all transactions and then keeps track of ownership. So that in practice that means when we have a transaction, this transaction is verified in a distributed manner and then it is recorded on a global ledger providing immediate clearing and settlement. And uh, uh, blockchain was actually invented by the Bitcoin community, but that community uh, has not fully understood yet that the blockchain needs to be integrated with the financial system to reach its, its potential. And the secret of the blockchain is actually to understand that through the col so-called colored coin protocol, any financial asset can be traded over the blockchain and then we can have immediate uh, clearing and settlement. Now, this is actually relevant for, for the financial system because the financial system still uses conventions from the time when uh, all the transactions were done manually. So that means in practice, physical pieces of paper had to be moved, sent somewhere and verified. Uh, in technical terms, that means that the transactions are badge based and they run in a daily cycle. And all of these issues will be actually disrupted by the blockchain because it will provide immediate settlement. So it seems to be very advanced in technology. So what is the innovation brought by blockchain? So the first innovation will be that, that every person will be uh, allowed to establish proof of ownership. That means that we can issue these colored coins and then that will represent a certain asset and it, it will be recorded on a blockchain. So in practice, that means, for instance, you can issue a colored coin that will represent your intellectual uh, rights. Uh, the second innovation is the immediate settlement that I discussed before. So in practice, again, that will mean if you have, for instance, if you own a company, you can exchange this company for money and then within minutes when the transaction is done, you can run to the ATM and withdraw cash. Uh, the third innovation is the introduction of the so-called smart contracts, which is nothing but uh, algorithm that automatically does a certain procedure. So for instance, again, if you have a company uh, using a smart uh, contract, you can automatically raise funds and then issue shares of your company uh, uh, to our investors. And then finally, from a trading perspective, since we have immediate settlement, then this will uh, change the so-called uh, yield curve, in, in, meaning it will introduce second by second interest payments, minute by minute interest payments and so on. So. I actually anticipated in the future the central bank, today it sets the daily interest rate, in the future it will actually set the uh, minute by minute or second by second interest rate. And again, traders will actually uh, benefit from uh, uh, ultra low trading fees and trading costs and we will, they will have they'll be able to switch co counterparties extremely fast uh, or brokers uh, since we have immediate sell settlement. So you've talked us through the procedures there but how do regulators and central banks view blockchain? Uh, that's an excellent question. So it's in fact I claim that the central banks fully embrace the blockchain. Um, uh, it was just recently that the Bank of England and the Federal Reserve issued a statement where they said that the innovation of blockchain was is the most impor important discovery uh, since the introduction of double entry bookkeeping. And regulators have uh, yet uh, they have not yet placed any regulatory practices onto the blockchain. That is purely because they want to see how the blockchain evolve and in which direction it will go. But I anticipate again that they will fully embrace it and once it becomes a mainstream tool, then they will apply regulation on it. And what has been implemented so far? So, unfortunately or unfortunately, the uh, blockchain is still in its infancy. So that means that a lot of companies are just trying to figure out what needs to be done. Uh, I claim that unfortunately, a lot of them are still focusing on transfer and exchange of Bitcoin when they should be actually focusing on uh, uh, trading uh, colored coins. So, so far, a couple of companies have tried to address some of the technical issues with the blockchain, for instance, uh, security issues and how many transactions can be done in a short time period. But again, I, I I anticipate that very soon companies will start focus on issuance and trading of colored coins among professional investors. And Antonio here is the co-founder of Lika. So what has Lika done? 
So Lika Corporation is building a global marketplace that will be on top of the blockchain and that will use immediate settlement uh, to trade colored coins on a block on Lika trading platform. Uh, the participants will be able to issue colored coins that represent any financial asset and then uh, do their all, all of their operation through the blockchain. So far we have implemented trading of foreign exchange uh, and very soon we will move into uh, money market and credit uh, uh, market instruments. Wow, thank you so much for coming in today and sharing your insights. It was a pleasure, thank you. That's all for myself and Anton, but for all the latest updates and exclusive market moves, do keep clicking back to Dugascopy TV.